PIP Product Based Image Classifiers with an Explainable and Editable Language Bottleneck Work Done by Thang Phạm Bae Ji Chen, Jin Nguyen, Seung Huynh Jun, Trung Bui, and Anh Nguyen. When we feed a bird image to OpenAI clip, along with a set of 200 class names in the prompts, clip correctly says this is a painted bunting and achieves around 52% zero shot accuracy on the cup test set. However, when the scientific names are used, clip's accuracy drops significantly to around 6%, boasting three critical problems. Clip relies on known class names, training required for new unseen class names, and how text prompts match input images is a black box process. We address these problems by expressing each class name as a set of park descriptors and compare them with corresponding visual features from the input image when classifying. Recent explainable AI methods either use textual concept explanations to match the entire image, or learn park-based prototypes that represent image patches, but such patches are not editable by humans. In this work, we ground each text park descriptor to a specific image region to enable crowded and editable text explanations while improving models' accuracy. Given an eastern bluebird image, PIP misclassifies it into indigo bunting, a similar class because eastern bluebird does not exist in the dataset. We can create the eastern bluebird class by simply cloning these descriptors and edit them. Here the throat and wings descriptors. The matching scores of new throat and wings increase, and PIP now correctly predicts the top one label for this image. PIP is composed of two main components, an object park detector and an image classifier. PIP first extracts the embeddings for object parks detected in the input image, then matches the predefined text descriptors to infer image classification labels. Interestingly, the same set of visual embeddings can be also decoded into bounding boxes for explainability. How to train PIP? The first step is define parts of interest that humans usually look at to recognize an object. For BIRDS, we follow annotations from CUP dataset and merge the similar parts such as left wing and right wing to wings to avoid the redundant features and speed up the training and inference. Similarly for dogs, Park ImageNet defines four parts of interest. We find that muzzle and ears are also important for recognizing a dog breed. In sum, we conduct experiments with trail parks for birds and sick parks for dogs. In the second step, we design prompts to obtain the descriptors for 11K birds and 140 dog breeds. We explicitly ask for the visual descriptors for better matching with an image region. The GPT-4 responses are then converted to the JSON format for all classes such as Cardino for birds or Toy Budo for dogs. In the third step, we combine seven existing datasets with around 55k images from Cornell Lab to construct a large-scale dataset for pre-training which contains around 441k bird images with 11k classes. We then do pre-processing to filter out undesired images if the birds are not distinctly visible or their class names are ambiguous and retain around 294k images spanning across 10.8k bird classes. For a fair comparison with baselines, we have two pre-training data space for two experiment settings, generalized zero shot learning GZSL, where we excluded test images. In this case, the models still see the trend images and the corresponding birth descriptors. The second one is the short learning ZSL, which is stricter where we excluded the entire test classes and their images from the pre-training step to make sure the model has never seen these classes. The last step is to pre-train PIP on BERT 11K to simultaneously match image to park descriptors and detect object paths, experiments, and results. Clip-based classifiers depend mostly on class names, not park descriptors. Specifically, when randomized descriptors are used, MNV accuracy drops marginally from around 54% to 53%, showing that descriptors actually play a minimal role in model predictions. On the other hand, when class names are removed or replaced by scientific names, MNV's accuracy reduces significantly to around 6%, suggesting that 
when class names are unseen to clip, the model cannot take advantages of the descriptors. For the pre-trained PIP model, when randomized descriptors are used, the performance drops significantly from around 64% to 0.88%, indicating that PIP relies on the matching between text image part to make predictions. The reliance on class names suggests that clip was exposed to these class names during pre-training, so we compare PIP with clip-based classifiers in a GZSL setting for a fair comparison. Specifically, PIP was pre-trained on the BERT 11K dataset where images from CUP datasets are excluded. PIP outperforms CLIP and MNV methods across three datasets by a huge margin, especially when scientific names are used. In this experiment, we compare PIP with other explainable methods in the generalizer short setting, like the previous experiment, as these baselines rely on CLIP, which has seen the class names. PIP also outperforms all expandable methods ranging across three groups vision language models with class name in the prompt, vision language models with text bottlenecks and no class names. And the last one is concept bottleneck models with attribute-based non-textual bottlenecks. We also tested GPT-4V by prompting this model with an input image and park-based descriptors of 200 classes, then asked the model to output a prediction. PIP's accuracy is slightly lower than GPT-4V, but is able to provide crowded information and accurate boxes. There are three test splits in this experiment, one by Akata for CUP, two splits, supercategory share and supercategory exclusive or SES SCE for each dataset, CUP and enabled by Enhocini. Note that for the SES split, the trend and test classes are similar, while for the SCE split, the trend and test classes are more diverse and thus more different and harder. For the zero shot setting, we pre-trained PIP on BERT 11K, excluding all 200 CUP classes and the associated images for the CUPS list, and similarly, we excluded 555 enabled classes and the associated images for the enabled list. The pre-trained PIP models are then further fine-tuned on the trends list for each dataset and evaluated on the corresponding test list. For results, PIP outperforms claw clip which is the state of the art explainable method for CUP under the split by Akata. For SE split, PIP outperforms own baselines, which indicate that our model is more generalized than other baselines. Overall, considering the harmonic mean over both easy and hard accuracy scores, PIP is the state of the art on both CUP and enables. In the fine tuning setup, we take the pre-trained PIP model and fine tune on the downstream task which is CUP and compare the performance with other explainable methods and also the black boxes. We tested different versions of PIP, fine tuning from the RVIT original ways or from the pre-training ways with different variants P32 and P16. Without pre-training, PIP achieves around 79% accuracy with pre-training and then fine tuning. PIP achieves 86.73% for P32 and 88.8% for P16, outperforming on explainable baselines and close the gap with black box methods. In the last experiment, we demonstrate that PIP is applicable to other domains and repeat the fine tuning experiments for the evaluation on Stanford Docs dataset. The takeaways are still whole for this domain. Without retraining, PIP achieves around 74% accuracy. With pre-training and then fine-tuning, PIP achieves 87% for P32 and 92.2% for P16, outperforming on explainable baselines, and close the gap with the black box method, 92 compared to 97. Here's the qualitative results between PIP and MNV method. In the MNV method, when the model makes a correct prediction, we do not know where the model is looking at. However, when the descriptors are randomized, the model still makes correct prediction, raising a concern that the descriptors are not useful for the clip-based models. On the other hand, in addition to correct prediction, PIP also shows the trail boxes corresponding to trail paths as explanations for more convincing. When the descriptors are randomized, PIP's prediction also changes to a random class, which is list turn in this case. Similarly for dogs, 
pip does nothing a dog in the input image is current terrier because its ears and body regions do not match the text descriptors. Their matching scores are both close to zero, indicating that pip matching scores are reliable. There are three limitations in this work. The first one is text encoder may not fully comprehend the birth descriptors because of limitation in understanding logical operators. The second one is dependency on image encoder for park visibility. For some examples, the birth parks are not visible, but people still take the matching scores for the prediction. And hallucination in the GPT-4 descriptors is the last one. Please refer to our paper for further details. In sum, we propose PIP, an explainable and editable classifier that grounds park descriptors to visual bird or dog parks for more fine-grained explanation. PIP outperforms clip and text concept-based methods in the zero-shot and zero-line zero-shot settings. After fine-tuning, PIP achieves comparable performance to state-of-the-art black box classifiers. PIP is also applicable to other domains such as dogs. This research was funded by National Science Foundation, Auburn University, and Adobe Research.